And as you're getting ready for the College World Series, get hot at the end of the year, that's what you want to do. Carter Putz lands this one into right center field for a base hit. Over there to cut it off is Pierce Bennett, but rounding first and headed for second. Play at second is not going to be in time. Nice job hustling in there by Carter Putz. The all-super regional team and led the team in home runs a season ago as he hits this one hard down the line at third and into left field for a base hit. That's going to bring home Putz from third, and the Irish are on the board first in this one as they lead it one to nothing. Now Brooks Coatsy's first pitch swing, lines this one into left. Big wide turn at third for Jefferson. He's going to try and score from second. And he'll get there as the throw up the line, and the Irish tack on another one. Just they said, and, and lots of meals eaten on the bus. Can you bounce back and get that same kind of energy today? Called strike three on the breaking ball that time. And the Deeks are turned away in order again in game out of this three game series. Is that one lined into right center field? That one's going to be trouble. That's getting all the way to the wall. That's going to be two as Coetzee slides into second with a leadoff double. And the quality of the hitters, it's a veteran hitting group that knows how to make adjustments. Finley, though, ratchets it up in a little bit and throws that fastball at 91 past Kurtz for his seventh strike out of the game. Payoff pitch. Big swing and a miss. And Healy gets out of the jam and keeps the Deeks off the scoreboard. Big swing and a miss. Healy very impressive here in the seventh. Allows a base runner, but otherwise no damage done. On the outside corner, a called strike three. Ciceri is punched out, and the Irish put together an absolute beauty. Three up, three down, no runs, no hits, no errors, and the Irish win it three to one over the Deeks in Hand Wake Forest, their first home loss of the season.